Hello there, boys and girls. This is the fourth episode of my Let's Build series. Me, Drogmore, as the builder, and you as the audience. Yeah, welcome. So, in today's episode, we'll go to the docks here. Um, but first, I just want to show you what progress we made. This is the house we finished in the uh, last episode. And here, I just added one more house took some of the pathway out a bit more further um, made some of the road here leading to this place it's gonna be a circle center of this part of the town and with a marketplace and another road leading out to the forest okay yeah also I made this water system that is um, still in progress not sure if that's gonna be there but you're able to go into it actually and um, yeah you can go all the way to the to the water here and it will lead out to this um, I don't know aqueduct is it an aqueduct I don't know but it's leading the spill water into the river again yeah um, small commenting on the on the part of the build that I already done I'm gonna do uh, kind of this thing over here um, but of course different so this was my own experiments with how to make the dock uh, and the designs I wanted used a lot of time figuring out how the house structure should be so that it looked kind of uh, pirate-ish and um, crowded this is a crowded building style I think yeah um, boats they're gonna be small but we're gonna do some um, reason for the small boats is that we are obviously uh, only able to assess a river from here so um, there's no ocean um, for us but I have this idea in my head that the boats will take the river and the river will go out to the ocean and they will have the supplies for the bigger ships in the boats yeah um, things we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, hopefully one or two more boats gonna do this medieval crane thing to place um, yeah to get things uh, supplies on the boats and we'll, we'll be doing some houses here um, I'm gonna continue this pattern here I'm just quickly gonna show you what I'm actually gonna um, mess around with now um, but it was just because I thought like you maybe wanted to know how to sort of plan out what you're gonna do for your dock yeah so if you have a, a place here now the the grass actually went out to around here um, so what I did as you can see here I just dug in the grass to get more uh, equal space um, and this is how it went out um, I will dig in a, a bit more of this path here that comes natural when we do the wall there but yeah then you want this to uh, yeah I use this with um, having um, what is that called dagger wood as the uh, as the lower part the things in the water because it looks like it's filled with water when you have the normal oak above it yeah um, and then this pattern here that's because I f at first I just had this uh, hollow in here but yeah actually it was my father who came up the with, with the idea like a dock should look solid and stuff and you shouldn't be able to say hmm is that gonna hold up your ships is that gonna just blow away in the wind so yeah what you wanna do you wanna do this um, solid look and that also gets rid of a lot of problems with planning out uh, for instance I did it with the slabs here you can just do that with blocks because it's not going to be visible okay yeah so what I did I just uh, went out these pillars they are actually not um, like you can say there's five in between each or three or six or whatever it's just where I just wanted them to be so that it would look uh, random but not not as random as the the nature itself okay yeah so you're just gonna fill in your part with a uh, stone no oh, sorry spruce wood and then you're gonna take your uh, stone brick slabs and put it all on the outside there and where you have the border with the um, with the spruce yeah you'll just take cobblestone up however much you need yeah so here also here and here and maybe in there will I do yes I will 
like that. Yeah. Uh, another thing I did, I did it underwater here. Um, took it down, and you, of course, you got to do it all the way down to make it 100% um, proof. Yeah, and then you're just gonna add in some of this nice stuff that will give you the effect, sorry, um, that this is actually, uh, oh that wasn't random at all, and uh, that this will actually, yeah, grow moss because it's uh, so close to water all the time. I know I forgot that point, but yeah, and then some uh, some what they call ladders going down. <coughs> yeah, thought this looked cool with this arm, arm thing here. Yeah, gonna have a road in there. Um, the this house is actually furnished. It's pretty crowded. You can like go up and there's a small room here. So yeah, that is that. Yeah, and the variations in the floor easy it's just a uh, jungle wood and pot soil I thought it looked good like you could even if you wanted in your bills you could have uh, beams going going this way but yeah if you want a more um, like this is real um, really a messy build um, but you could do it more more um, like a man-made if you wanted to yeah just gonna do some here and then you just put it it's all random it's just go for it you'll experience that your eye is actually able to say oh you shouldn't have done that and then you'll just go back if it doesn't fit yeah so that's not uh, really a problem yet uh, yeah so that is that. So let's just get to the wall actually. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you what you can do and then I'll do like this uh, fast forward thing building the rest of the wall because you don't want to be sitting here forever. So yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it at the same level. So uh, just gonna place my eye here and this will say yeah it's here right? Okay. So if we have a wall going there, would that be... No, I'm just uh, curious. Yeah. I think I could actually do like that. Okay. Yeah. So what you want to do is just go uh, at this level. And you just place your pillars down. Just start with placing them down, then you can always um, like adjust it later. This one is gonna be slightly more curved than the other one, so we'll see how that will actually affect our building in the end. Um, would I do maybe this? You don't have to be like following one pattern. This is actually more like you're free. You're free to do whatever you want. And this. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna build it up here, I think. So, like that. That was wood follower and nice uh, pattern there. Yeah. Then, when you. Damn. <laughs> when you're satisfied with your wall, like uh, how it curves and bends. Actually, I'm maybe not all that satisfied at all. Um, let's see. Is that better? Is that somewhat better? Yeah, looks more, more, more cool. Yeah, then you're just gonna take out all the blocks underneath, um, so that you won't be able to say, ah, the the wall is not supported well enough, or something like that. Yeah, so like that. And when that is done, you can go out and maybe dig out some more if you want to. You can just have a look there. Yeah. Okay, so I said I wouldn't do all of the wall, but that <laughs> actually went by pretty quick. So yeah, then you're just gonna place. Uh, now I did this like this. Uh, you place the first one. You say one, two, three, and you place the second one. One, two, three. So one, two, three. So that will be there and here. Yeah. So that is not randomized at all. And then for connecting the the spruce fence. We need um, we need blocks underneath here, 
So that ain't gonna be like that. And we are of course just gonna fill this part in here. Um nope. Yes. Oh uh, yes. We don't want the corners to be um not connecting because we're gonna fill in the all of the spruce fence here. Dip 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 dip. Yeah, so this is just how this um fencing is working out. And I think this harbor is also gonna be in uh, more than one part. Um since it's kind of a a bigger build involving more houses. This is actually depending on how much uh, of the v of the building part, um, you guys would want to see. Yeah, I'm still new in this, so I need to get more experience with what the people, uh, the YouTube builders actually want to, uh, or the viewers. I don't know if you build this stuff actually, or if you just look at this for fun. I I've uh, personally I've watched a lot of uh, YouTube videos and. Mm, a lot of it I didn't build, but it's like it's cozy and all, and I'm getting all the inspiration also um, from from players. Not all of it, of course. Um, yeah, something like that. That is also just randomizing. So yeah, when you've done that, you're gonna do this part where you. I'm just gonna move this and say here, here, here. Here, 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 here. Okay. Good morning, Leo. Uh, okay. Mm, did I just make a special effect there? I think I did. Yeah, I'm just gonna swap between um, using slabs and the what you call it um, and the stairs. So maybe something like that and this and that and these and I'm th I think I'll go further down instead actually so let's try something like this yeah so this is the part where you will actually just be mm, it's necessary to just have a look at what you're doing and then uh, work with it as it goes along so yeah now I'm just placing now um, nope I'm gonna do this here, here, here. Yeah, so something like that, and that will be adjusted uh, adjusted <laughs> through time because we are gonna move in the dirt just a bit. Yeah. So next thing I wanted to do, I wanted to place the crane first because I imagine that it will take out quite some space actually so um, let's go ahead and try to figure some materials we want to build this with so I'm going spruce oh hello spruce slippy slippy piece there soap spruce they call it um, then what are we gonna we're gonna have some definitely some rope ish I like to use the jungle wood as I probably mentioned as rope um, because it just it has the color for it and then it um, it differs from the um, from the, the other wood types there <coughs> yeah so I imagine that this would be a good place I kind of figured this out uh, on the forehand because we have two space there two space there and then three here in the middle so we're just gonna place like this, one, two, three, four, with one gap in between each. And then we're gonna go up a lot. And we're gonna change that part maybe, but now we're just gonna go up. Um yeah. Then let's raise these by one. And then I wanna do something that looks kinda solid. So but also variated like this. So yeah. This is kind of good. What I did there, uh, stairs on the sides, facing in one direction, they are kind of pointing that way, and then just upside down stairs all the way around it. Then this is you 
need to imagine that this is kind of a, a massive construction or this is oh we don't want the rope in there no I'm just saying that this is rope because it is in in this build now um, gonna have some of that maybe. yeah nice contrast there okay um, yeah what was I saying? Yeah, you want this to look like it's supported very well, and it kind of looks like it's supported well now. Um, I looked up some pictures on Google with... Um, I just typed in uh, medieval crane. And a lot of old pictures of old medieval cranes came out, uh, came up. And uh, yeah, that was kind of pretty cool. But they all have... A this is what I'm building at the moment. I just took out this uh, pillar here. They have like, you got the um, <coughs> the crane part here, lifting up things there, and then over here the rope. It the rope is coming up here, going uh, over the thing, um, and down here, and then it's all um, controlled by this wheel here that will t uh, twist the the rope around this um, wooden beam. And that will um, extract or um, the opposite <laughs> uh, with your crane part, lifting part there. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do this here. Okay, what we're we gonna do? We're gonna do this. Yeah, this this part I figure out on the forehand too. So if we did this, we wanna do this and that. I'll explain afterwards what I've done. If it needs explaining, I don't know if it does. So yeah, um, you could also do this with the with the what they called with full blocks in there. <coughs> but I chose to do this because it kind of gives it more air or it's more light. It will become more heavy. Yeah, what you want to be focused on with the stairs here is that if this is in the button, then over here it's going to be in the top, and this is in to the right, then down there it's going to be to the left. So you get this, um, this symmetry. Yeah. And now I'm going to take my jungle wood. Because we, um, I figured that I wanted the jungle wood to be the rope. So you could say like... Um, Wherever jungle wood is, that's gonna be rope. So this would be rope um, twisted around this. Oh yeah, and if you do it with stairs instead of the of the full block, you won't get get this one connecting, which um, won't be um, what you want. Yeah. Okay, so height. Yeah, might change this, but um, I want to do something like at. Uh, um like it's not straight it's leaning yeah so what you do you place a, a beam of three pieces there and three pieces just one above you can press them like this one two three more and this is a nice overhang if you have a ship there that is realistic and then on the opposite side you're only gonna take out one maybe one and a half what I do like this? Yeah, let's just try that for the moment. So, hello, downfall. Mm. Yeah, so what you're gonna do here, you're gonna... Oh, let's try this then. How would that be? That's maybe okay. Yeah, you wanna connect that, of course. Uh, and this will be going above but we're gonna have a look at that in a moment then in the ends you just want to uh, have stairs this comes quite naturally um, like this and then on this side because you're gonna do it in the bottom you just want to do this here and there okay so there there is something there is definitely something Maybe we need to change the stairs to make it look a lot more, uh, a little more um, natural, or contrast filled is uh, what that be. And then I want a button here. This is like 
the the thing is um, able to um, go up and down because that is like an anchor do you say that I don't know if you say that yeah but what we're gonna do here we gonna we want some more supporting here that is good that is definitely good a bit blend in the button here mm, let's just try to look at this yeah that looks like it's well supported there um, this height is also good because you can go underneath otherwise this would block off all of the road here so going underneath here will actually be a cool part of the <laughs> of the thing here um yeah do we want more stuff do we want more stuff I kinda wanna maybe have some more mm, just because we need some details on this thing yeah that's kinda good that's kinda good uh, yeah so that is that then we're gonna place this going down all the way Um, and then what I wanted to do for um, for the holding thing here this might be a bit weird but that's how it is <coughs> the weird part is that we're gonna have half slaps um, and therefore I want this bit of air here because otherwise I can place these up like this looks uh, totally looks like it's um, oh <laughs> hello voice changing all of a sudden isn't that great uh, this looks like it's um, a, a border to it yeah so if we just we need some lighting on this thing um, lighting will be maybe in here yeah, that looks looks kind of cool. You get the I like to play in the night because you get all these details from the lighting and the shadowing. Everything is just great. Yeah, that is actually kind of cool. I kind of wanted some rope to go up here. Let's just try this here. How will this look? Mm, that is kind of weird. Connecting them, will that make a difference? Is that good? Is that is that good? No, I don't like it. I don't like it because it's... A rope wouldn't do this and it w wouldn't split to two things and it wouldn't... Nope, 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 nope. This ain't working. Yeah. What you can do instead, you can add rails. Rails are pretty nice and not that hard to come by either unless you're gonna do some of the serious rails there yeah yeah that's a lot better that's a lot better right there you see it I saw it you see it I saw it it's like this it's gonna be like this and then maybe stick these up here as well just because we need some more detailing on the lock beam there you could maybe even I don't know if this is too much, but since we got free of space here, we could place one into the middle here. No, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. So that thing is that thing. And if you don't want if you don't want the gap in here, you can of course just change uh, all of this part, but you can also put in um this little thing there. Um I don't think I will be able to have any chests on that because it's mm, kind of weird, uh, and that's uh, one thing I'm a bit sorry for. But yeah, just look at that. Just look at that, man. I'm just gonna set night time here. I think this is yeah. But this is at the same time also gonna wrap up the episode. I think so. This is what we got at episode four. Um, we got the medieval crane here and we got the wall done we worked a bit on the 
on the side here you know how to make this part uh, yeah what I might not have mentioned is that you kinda just need to find some place where you can dig in as long as uh, as you need to to get like two roads here like I've got one road here and I got one on the top because what makes this side so good is the ele elevation like you got two floors on this uh, in this dock here and that also makes you makes it possible to make the stairs which will make the uh, f first thing the the you wanted this to be a crowded build so the stairs are definitely doing something for you there and second thing um the 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 houses in the different elevations like this that will also do something for you there so next time i hope we can build maybe a boat first and then we're gonna plan out some more here yeah uh, in between the episodes i will probably take out some of the grass here i can see that this crane it filled out pretty pretty big amount of space there so we need some more workspace here so we can do something similar to that part over there yeah but that is definitely a good start on our harbor here yeah so this is uh, wrapping up the episode and um, hopefully you enjoyed I hope to see more viewers soon um, that would definitely motivate me especially the like button that would be crazy so um, yeah but until next time uh, see you guys.